just as we're about to start our breakfast. Guess what came running past? We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. Good morning. We had a fabulous night's sleep here. It was really, really quiet. This morning, we are heading to what is supposed to be the best breakfast we're gonna have in Turkey. Oh. There's a challenge there. Little word of advice. I've been walking around in my sandals and I don't know whether you can see the spikes on these bushes, but they are like so sharp and they're everywhere. Including the doormat. All the little prickles are stuck oh, in there. I was in the van last night, I got spiked a few times. So yeah, wear proper shoes if you park here and walk on this grass. Um, Tony and Teresa have arranged for us to go and have a breakfast up here in the mountains. So it's about a 20 minute drive away. We're super excited and we're super hungry. Let's go find breakfast. A rural traffic jam. Lorry stuck in road. <laughs> Merhaba. Merhaba. We just have to wait for something to go. We've arrived at this wonderful breakfast place oh. and we're already falling in love with it. Look at the lampshade and we've got this wonderful seating area down at the far end. And uh, this place is just absolutely amazing. Oh. We'll have a good look around after we've had our breakfast. Wow, look at this. So this is actually our little area. We're gonna be having our breakfast this morning. And look, just look at this view. I would honestly say that this is the most beautiful place we have ever had breakfast. There's grape leaves and we're in a nice, this lovely little hut with this seating area, which is very comfortable. And the fresh air of the mountains, I can hear like all the crickety sort of noises, which is absolutely lovely. But I'm really excited to see uh, what, they, what they offer here because this is really traditional. I'm putting this on park for night. Yeah, we're going to add this. They do actually um, encourage vans and things to come and visit. So we're going to put it on park for night. So any of you van lifers out there um, who want a really interesting, beautiful spot, there is actually Wi-Fi up here because there's a cellular tower uh, just on the, the, the top of the mountain next to us. Um, breathtaking. Wow. Yes, sir. Thank you. Cheers. Chin chin. What a way to start the day, hey love? That is the freshest, freshly squeezed juice. Delicious. Oh, Are you ready? Wow. Wow, look, look at that. Oh, thank you so much. Turkish tea. Turkish tea, what a lovely teapot. Okay, is a homemade gems. <gasps> wow. Here in the uh, apricot. Mm -hmm. Uh, red rose and mm -hmm. chili pepper. Oh, yeah, chili sweet. Wow. Yes, and cheese plates. My goodness. The old cheese is a bit different village and different yes. city. Yes. And also homemade bread. Oh wow, homemade me. bread. That. My mum made it. Your, Your mum made, made it. it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And I just love the way that they've actually put wheat on the on the actual bread tray. This is just amazing. Red pepper with uh, tomato sauce oh. and basil. That yes. is just I want incredible. to move here. <laughs> yeah, where do you live here? <laughs> wow. wow, look at that honey. And some oh. Look at this honey. It is 
an actual block of amazing local honey here. But it just looks so beautiful. Butter and some tahini. Oh wow. This, this is, is uh, foam helva. Oh yes, yes. yes I. And also pumpkin jams. Pumpkin beautiful. jam. Yeah. I've had helva before, but it was hard. So this yeah, is like more soft. Form. Wow, in a different form. Olives. Olives and red olives. Red olives? Yes. I've never had red olives. Actually green, but uh, my mom making beetroot, you know it? Yes. Oh, with beetroot? With beetroot. Some colors. Yeah. Wow. This pepper paste. Mm -hmm. Pepper paste. This is the Zata from Gaziantep in Turkey, Baklava's best city, you know? Okay. Is it spicy? And okay. if, inside is the 11 different spice. Some fresh fruit. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. How amazing is this traditional Turkish teapot? I just love it. Chris, please. Thank you. Amazing. Now this cheese platter has actually got herbs on it as well. And I recognize the rosemary. rosemary. I think this is the blue basil that we've seen down in the market. Yeah, this sage. Is, that's sage, isn't it? Oh no, it's a type of mint. Oh, mint. And then the different cheeses. Some mixed uh, tomatoes and cucumbers, all with, with a nice dressing on. We've got some oranges there. Pish, pishy. Pishy. Yes. It's like a Turkish donut. Yes. Beautiful. Amazing. I am genuinely amazed at the variety the beauty and the look of this breakfast. It's so lovely though, because it's all locally sourced, it's all fresh, the bread, and literally I can't describe, you know when you go into a baker and there's that fresh smell, but it's really nutty. I can actually smell like the nuts and seeds from the bread. It's just incredible. So beautiful. Look, even little wild flowers. I feel like this wasn't just created by a chef, this was actually created by an artist. The, the food is so beautiful that I don't believe you can eat it without photographing it. it oh is no, definitely. an actual thing of beauty. And just when I thought there couldn't be more, there's something else coming. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Marion, this is the sherbet okay. in Ottoman time. Okay. Yes, it's inside is the basil sherbet. A basil Purple sherbet. Basil, yes. Wow. Basil sherbet. Uh, wow. And some halloumi. Oh, halloumi. Halloumi. Yeah. That's our favourite cheese. Yes. I'm in heaven. And the best. Here name is the Benoit. And some translate deep water. Deep yeah, water. This water. Let's try. Oh, delicious. Now. You would pay about £2.50 for a bottle of this in a supermarket. <laughs> Natural, Natural water. spring water, mineral water. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and of course, to make Marianne's breakfast even more special, we all know how she loves chickens. Are you talking to the chickens? Maybe. <laughs> there are, oh, it's just so lovely. There's so much nature. We're surrounded, but for, there's chickens and ducks. Ah. Uh. Just as we're about to start our breakfast, guess what came running past? Look at this. There isn't anything that this place hasn't got. The natural beauty is just phenomenal. I heard the little tinkle of the bells and there they came running. So it's hard to really know where to start with such a beautiful breakfast. But I'm really looking forward to trying some of these olives. So a red, red olive, never seen before, made from beetroot. Mmm, very delicious. So there's tomato and peppers. 
It's really rich and fruity and tomatoey. And the pepper's got a little bit of a kick, just a little hit. It's just so fresh and delicious. This is food heaven. I want to try one of these Turkish donuts. I've never had one of these before. They're a bit heavier than a normal donut. They feel a bit like a scone. Mmm, they taste like they're deep fried or cooked in a lot of oil. But the middle's very doughy. Really delicious. Got two types of cheeses. Mmm, it's like salty, fettery, halloumery. Halloumery, that's a new word. It's sort of like <laughs> um, a mix of all three and it's got some herbs in it. I would say that's that's which one's that one? Oh, uh, this is sage. Sage, I'd say it's sage. It feels like sage. Really? Yeah. I want to try uh, and taste this chili jam here and see, see. Mmm, that's really good. It's spicy, but it's not crazy spicy. Um, you know, on a bit of bread with a bit of cheese, that would be absolutely delicious. Look at this honey, like the actual honeycomb. That is just amazing. Let's have a, I'm going to have a little, I'm going to have a little naughty taste of that. Oh, oh, I think that's the best honey I've ever tasted. Look at this chili jam. I'm going to just try it without anything. It tastes like sweet chili sauce. Let's just dip a bit of bread into the, into the rose jam. Look at that. Mmm, that's that beautiful liquid Turkish delight flavour. One of the hardest things is when you come to places like this and you have the most delicious food is actually filming it and not just tucking in. Mm. But um, I think the time has come where we're just going to uh, just enjoy the moment, enjoy the view and tuck into this delicious breakfast. really fascinates me about this breakfast is the different combinations that have been uh, put together. We have tahini and uh, this fresh honey and put together on bread is just a really beautiful combination and then we have oil you dip a bit of bread with this mixed spices and it just goes amazingly together like a perfect combination. It's just an absolutely, I'm just amazed, truly, truly amazed by this breakfast. This halva, but it's li this. liquefied. And it's like a really thick white cream. Mm. It's just like fluffy, moussey, sweet loveliness. We haven't tried this yet. This is the, uh, what they call sherbet. Cheers. It smells uh, spicy sweet. Oh, it's like a delicious flavored water. I'm not quite sure how to describe that. Yeah, there's some, some herbs in there and some sweetness and a slight hint of rose as well. That was the most amazing breakfast. And if you want to know how much a traditional breakfast here would cost, it ranges between 50 and 75 Turkish Lira per person, worth every penny. Absolute amazing food experience. It's funny as you travel around, you see so many different places 
and you get to experience so many different things. But I was just saying to the guys that run this place, it's so beautiful because it's so eclectic and all the decor is so natural and lovely. Uh, and there's chickens and ducks walking around. How amazing is this steps into the tree? And look, it goes all the way up to the top. I just love these rustic lights made out of sticks. So this restaurant is just located off the main road. They've actually got um, some water here. It's famous for this area and lots of locals come and fill up their water bottles. We've tasted the water with breakfast and it is absolutely delicious. We will be filling Trudy up before we leave. Um, they do welcome vans and motorhomes to come here. Um, the breakfast is definitely recommended. As Chris said, you can come in a van and they've got parking facilities just up the hill here. And there are flat spots with toilet block as well. So here at the restaurant, they have a traditional umbar here. These are the same that we saw um, yesterday. Traditionally, they would be used to store grain and uh, crops over the winter. This particular one um, is a couple of hundred years old, was actually brought from the mountain region that you can see behind us and has been restored. Uh, Murat's father actually is a carpenter and has restored this building. Absolutely stunning. You can rent it out. It's 400 Turkish lira for a night and with that you get one of those magnificent breakfasts in the morning and views like this to wake up to a nice wooden handle let's uh let's have a look inside wow this is amazing you talk about tiny homes have you ever seen a tiny home like this. This is as, as traditional as it comes. They've put these lights on a rope which look fantastic. But look at this bed. It's a perfect fit uh, here. It's so authentic. Restored beautifully. Even the shelf is made out of sticks and a little bit of plank on top there. It's been so tastefully put together. It has. And there's a little room. Yeah. So this, what's in this little room here on the side? This is an amazing little bathroom. Wow. Look at this. Let's see. Can we turn the lights on? What? This little room, look. They've got proper tiled floors, tiled walls. We've got a loo. There's a shower head mounted on the wall here. This is a bit van style uh, with the drain on the floor and this amazing wooden, it's actually a wooden sink. I've never seen a wooden sink before. That's awesome. And a nice mirror. And then out of this window here, which has a mosquito net, not only do you get the views of the mountains, but we're blown away today. We've got a wonderful herd of goats walking past. And uh, outside here, is this amazing little seating area which Marianne's come down onto. I'm blown away. It's just, just beautiful. An absolute 
breathtaking place. This is a real gem, a real find. If you're looking for something a little bit unusual somewhere, really special to stay, um, this is definitely a place to come. I thought I'd show you where the parking area is. The little restaurant's just there and the hut that you can rent, but just over here, there's some parking spots here on the flat and then there's a toilet block there. I found the chefs of the house. These fabulous ladies created all the jams and the chutneys and all the chili paste and the tomatoes and the peppers and all the breads. Oh, oh it's delicious. They are heavenly. They should go to dinner. <laughs> Natural water. We're all topped up. Back to Calcan for the dentist. Yeah. Okay, we've arrived back in Calcan and I'm going back to the dentist and hopefully I've got the right date and right time this time. Right, see you on the other side. So the dentist appointment went very well and you will have to forgive me if I still am talking a bit because it's still numb. It's like three hours later and it's still numb. I can't feel my ear or my nose. She did a really good job. It was absolutely fantastic. But we thought we would end the day and spoil ourselves with a nice drink uh, here at the Indigo Bar in Calcan. Did you find another friend? Oh, and he's perfect van size. He's van size. <laughs> Hello. Are you coming to join us for breakfast? Do you know that Marianne likes chickens? I think you might. Baby, we got a chicken that's joining us for breakfast. I know. I might have slightly encouraged it. <laughs> Stop feeding the chicken. Did you know that chickens have a 30 times optical vision capability than a human? Really? Yeah. How'd you know that? Some clever. Look at that bird. Oh. Look at that bird. I'm so lovely. Oh, you're still there. That's it. It's the end of the show. We've got to get the van ready because we're heading down this beautiful Turkish coast. If you want to come with us, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss an episode. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.